Welcome back to Life of the Wild Ride. Not exactly sure what we're going to do today for a bus video, but I do want to show you, <laughs> Tracy, I know you guys are probably getting tired of these damn countertops, but they just take so much time, so sometimes it might be all I have to show for the work that we've been doing because we don't have a lot of time on the bus, and what we do have is getting used up by, um, you know, getting these countertops looking good. So, uh, yeah, you know, Tracy put another coat. She sanded them the other day again. And I think she's going to do one more coat. So I think she's going to sand them down again and then put yet another coat on. Um, but they are looking really nice. It's coming right along. So that's kind of what we got here going. Like I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to do as far as the bus. What I am doing over here, I'll talk about a couple things I suppose. This is, again, all scrap wood. And I need enough to make, there's three drawers I want to make on the bus in the kitchen. And I need enough wood to make the side you know the sides the back the front of the drawers so i'm going to basically glue together a whole bunch so i just started laying it out here obviously they're going to be all plain down to the same thickness i'm just laying it out to see how much i have so i need enough to make four sides of three different drawers and one of the drawers is like 10 inches deep so it's a nice deep drawer i'm just starting to gather up scrap stuff that i'll cut all off the drawers are about 20 by 20 i think 20 by 21 so i have to remeasure but in that area but yeah i just you know i'm gathering going through all my scrap stuff there's some nice wood in there some of it's pine i'm looking for non-pine so the drawers will look kind of like this basically uh this when you look inside the drawers and open them up the sides will be you know different colored wood like this so i think it'll kind of carry that theme inside and the reason why i'm doing it is, is it scraps you know instead of going out and buying a wide board and making the draw all out of one board why not use what i have so i have a lot of pieces that i can put together to make three drawers nothing exciting sorry i have nothing exciting at the moment i did move the floor over here this is gonna be the floor of the bus let me put it in i will say so you've seen the bus build you've seen what we've been doing and I know a lot of people put their floor in first. Now, I don't know the right or wrong way, really. I mean, like in a house, you can put it down and you can build over it to some extent. Uh, but these are floating floors. And I have seen several builds that they put the floor in first, built on top of it. And then the, the climate inside the bus just doesn't say it's a metal box. It's a lunch box, basically. So it can, you know, heat and cool a lot, which is going to make this wood, some, some of them, expand and contract a lot. And if you put the floor down first and then fasten cabinetry down on it and walls down on it, anytime that expands, you've got a potential for bubbles on the floor because it's got nowhere to go. First of all, I did not buy the rubber type floor. Like they got kind of a plastic lock together because I've seen some trouble with that. Uh, actually, just in my parents' house, we put it in a sunroom and one end of the room has got a lot of windows and where the sun hits it it actually started to bubble up and we left a good you know probably half inch around the edge and it still caused problems so i definitely would not buy that so we bought this is a wood composite type material that i hope is not as bad as that but what we're going to do is build the bus out like you're seeing and then i'm going to put the floor in and i'm going to leave a good space around everything and then put mop boards in the bus as well to cover some of that space. And I'm also going to do it. I'm going to put the... Because another important thing is to put the flooring on the bus so it can acclimate to the temperature that it's currently at. We're going to be doing that next summer on a hot day when the boards, when the floor has already been in the bus sitting. So it's hot too and it's at its maximum size, so to speak. Hopefully it expands. Put it in, leave the gap in hopes that there'll be no other hotter days to make it worse and it can never get longer than the space it's already in and cause any buckling. Because once it starts to buckle, it'll start to break apart, chip at the seams, and stuff like that. And I don't want that. I'd rather have a, a you know a wider mop board if I have to to cover that gap all around the edge. And if we do it on the hottest possible day in the middle of the summer, then it should be kind of at its maximum size anyways. At least that's my theory. That's my hope. We'll see how it all works out in the end. Now, with that said, doing it this way does create a lot more work because now you're cutting around all of this stuff you're cutting around walls cutting around cabinets cutting around everything you know you know i guess it's you know here or there depending on how you want to do it uh that's what we chose to do i would have loved to put it down in the bus early because it'll look nice but then you're also risking the chance of stuff falling on it right dropping stuff hammers whatever because during the major part of the build so we chose not to do that even though it looked good trace out here now we're just contemplating uh on this what we're going to do but i'm pretty sure we're going to put another layer uh, but that will be 
to be determined. All right, well, we'll get back with you in a bit once we find out what we're doing, if we're doing anything on the bus. All right, so we decided to put the cabinet on the bus. <laughs> Trace is carrying that one arm over the door the other. She's under there somewhere, there she is. And I got the smaller piece here. You're all right. Who designed this bus? Well, you said you could take the bigger piece, so I let you. I didn't realize oh, it wasn't going to fit through the door. Well, if I bang it up, I'm going to have to fix it. That's true. We don't put this on in place. No, the cabinet doesn't go out to that that much. That's okay. Alright, so we're just putting these pieces of countertop in place and see how it looks. Hey, a rare sight, Tracy in the kitchen. It's because you don't like my cooking. And you don't like to cook. What's wrong with that? Nice, well there's our kitchen countertops and of course it's just sitting here right now, but yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, so it's coming along. I just got to decide if I'm going to climb under the bus today and put the rest of the supports of the tank in. It is cool. I mean, it's 60 out, but it's damp, you know, it's been raining yeah. for what, three days now? Yes. It's, it's, yeah, I don't think it's actually raining at the moment. Well, I know it's not, but it just feels like there's a lot of moisture in the air. Yeah, sorry so far this is not a very exciting video. So we decided we are going to at least do something. It is cool and damp out, but I would like to get this um, tank finished. You know, the supports up in there before winter. Get some out of, oh, a little birdhouse. A little bird nest on the ground here. Wind. Yeah, wind must knock cool. down. Well, it's the right time of year, so it's fall. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, um, get the rest of the bars on this thing, I hope. I'll set this up as time-lapse, so you don't have to watch it, but you can kind of see what we're doing. And then I'll kind of wrap it up at the end and kind of uh, show you what we did. So if you're trying to do this yourself, uh, you can also kind of copy what we did or come up with your own idea. But I think the last video before this one shows a lot of us putting this in. So stand by and we'll, uh, get you on time-lapse.
All right, so we're gonna wrap it up here today. Sorry, not the greatest video, but I will show you quickly what we did here. So this is our gray water tank, and we have uh, a rubber mat on top. I'll cut off this extra here, and it's, the whole top is covered with the rubber mat, and hopefully that showed in the last video. And then we have um, a garden hose. It was a leaky garden hose, so I cut sections of it to put on the threaded rod going up. So the threaded rod is not against the tank directly, rubbing on it. And then of course I got these support bars. And I have how many of these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven support bars. So that's 14 threaded rods coming down through, uh, holding this tank in position. So I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. Uh, what I'm gonna do before we're done is I'm gonna add a, um, a plate on the last two and they'll have a cutout around that drain so that'll support that drain as well and I'll put it I'll sandwich it between another set of these uh, bars so it's not pushing up on the tank but also the weight of the drain valve and everything once it's all in will not be pulling down on that tank and that valve that whole grommet connection so that'll be supported as well and then I'm gonna go back and also put a second nut on all of these and put some um, uh, Loctite on the threads when I put those up into position as well. Uh, but, and then, of course, we'll go back and cut off all of the extra threaded rods sticking down and uh, take care of that. So that's that. And once the valve is on, it is still higher than many of the other components under the bus. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, hopefully it's not an issue, but it's not, uh, not going to stick down that much. But uh, yeah, our tank is secure, in position. It's not going to go anywhere. Probably overkill. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I don't know what the capacity of these threaded rods are. But I think that many and the amount of support I got crossed going on this is probably more than I need. But I would rather have more than not enough. At any rate, thanks for swinging by Life the Wild Ride and another uh, bus build or chat video and uh well we still got a long way to go but we're getting there i'm anxious to well, i mean winter's coming now so we won't be doing as much like this outside stuff but i hope to start building the doors drawers and stuff like that uh very soon and then uh next year i'll be anxious to get the plumbing all done on this and actually put some water to it and test it all out but no one's doing that this late in the season this year because then we'd have to drain it for freezing anyway Thanks a lot for coming by, checking out what we got going on. Remember, Mondays are bus build videos, and we do drop some other videos here and there about our general life, the wild ride that it is on other days sometimes, so check that out. Also, don't forget to swing over to our website, lifethewildride.com. I've updated it, and I'm still doing some updates to it. And, um, you know, hey, check it out. It's a great place to go to have everything central centrally located so my facebook is linked there my uh youtube channel is linked there instagram is linked there and so you can just like bookmark the website and always be able to go back and see any of the stuff you want to see please subscribe if you haven't done so already already like comment hit the bell icon so you're notified when the next video comes up have a great day remember life is a wild ride we'll see you in the next video